Hey guys, what is going on? It's um, it's July 2nd, and I'm officially on a short little vacation for work. I got the baby, so I'm on paternity leave, but I'm still kind of working. Nonetheless, I told you guys that um, one lens, one camera kind of challenge thing. I'm sticking it for the most part, I, I'm screwing around a little bit with some film cameras, but I want to talk to you guys today about two things. First of all, I just crossed the 1,000 subscriber mark which is hilarious because I never made this channel with the intent to get even a significant amount of subscribers. A thousand, I guess, is a lot to some and, and none to some people, but the fact that a thousand plus people subscribe to this is awesome, so thank you, each and every one of you. I'm not really in this to monetize this channel by any means, um, but I'm really just hoping to connect with people that are similarly into photography and other things. So thank you guys, I appreciate you watching. Crazy milestone, I, kind of hilarious. I don't even know what the time frame was, I think it's less than a year had this channel. Nonetheless, that's not the point. We're talking about this guy right here, the Fujifilm X100V. Um, it's not really about the camera. I told you guys I was going to focus a bit more on photo projects, and today I wanted to uh, I want to challenge you guys and tell you a little project I'm going to do. I want to see if you guys can maybe come along with me. I'd love to do that. I don't know. I thought about doing some kind of a giveaway. Um, I, I sold a lot of my cameras, so I don't have a lot sitting around, and, and I always sell those to buy new gear, so I don't know what I'm going to give away. Nonetheless, here's the point. Photo project. I told you I want to do more stuff around photo projects specifically. I was thinking to myself, well, I got babies, I got work, I don't have time to like go to a different state or go to a different part of the, and, and like document or do anything like that. So I thought to myself, what is something I can do that will challenge me from a photographer standpoint and uh, I could do, you know, almost every day. And to myself, I thought, this might be boring, but I can do this. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my photo project, and it's simply for a learning aspect, simply from a learning perspective, to challenge myself to get better at taking pictures of routinely boring things to try and tell a story and to document. Here's what I'm gonna do. My subdivision. Um, I'm gonna document my subdivision. Sounds lame, right? Hear me out. My subdivision is a bit unique in this area compared to other homes and the demographic of the people in here, um, some of the things about the homes and the landscaping and the people. There's a story in this subdivision for sure. And so what I wanna do is try and capture images that are first of all interesting, um, of, a, of a, a, I guess, typically routinely boring subject, like a house. You know, how can you kind of shoot the house so it looks a little bit different? But also try to capture the feel of the neighborhood. Like for example, we're, it's gonna be a pretty patriotic neighborhood. We got a lot of American flags, it's 4th of July. So maybe something around the patriotism in this neighborhood. Um, a lot of people are hardworking, people that work hard in their homes and keep maybe something around that. Uh, these homes have a different look to them, maybe something around that aspect of it. Just trying to take my subdivision, my, my area, and tell a story. Because my guess is I'm gonna have a hard time with this. I have no excuse not to do it because we go for a walk almost every single night. Um, I go running through this neighborhood a lot for exercise and there's no excuse to say I'm too busy to do it. So it takes that away. I'm gonna shoot it all in the one camera, one lens and uh, just, just to challenge myself and get away from a lot of the gear stuff as I talked about. And I'm actually really excited to do this. I don't know if you guys are gonna care about this, if you're gonna like it, but I would challenge you guys to join me. If you live in an apartment complex, you live in a mobile home, you live in Europe, I don't know who else watching this, you live in Asia, just take your surroundings around you every single day and go document that and tell a story. For me, it's a subdivision and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna focus on what that story is and try and tell it through maybe just a 10 photo short zine. Maybe that's all I, I, I write about. Um, that's the other thing, am I gonna write a little blurb on one side and the photo on the left? Am I gonna have some context with some written, I don't know, I'm thinking about that. But I wanted to get away from a lot of the gear stuff. It doesn't really help too much of us. This camera's fantastic. That's all there is to it. It's awesome. And uh, I'm just totally excited about it. But I wanted to, uh, to do a photo project. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't named it yet. I don't know what it's gonna be called. But, and I'm gonna give myself about a two week period to get this done. I don't wanna constrain myself too much, but 10 photos in two weeks, I'll probably take more like 100, 150, I don't know, and I try to parse it down to like, what am I saying here and what the story is? Because it's gonna make me think about the image I take, 
how I frame things up, the composition, and that's gonna be think about putting those photos in a certain order to tell a story, and that's where the learning starts to happen. And I guarantee you this is gonna suck. I guarantee you, compared to people that are professionals, this zine is going to be terrible. And people are gonna say, that, what's the point of this? And that is absolutely the point of what I'm doing. I'm challenging myself to get out there and try something different. Um, I just wanted to get out here today, guys, and say thank you again for the 1,000 plus subscribers. Amazing, it's crazy to me. And if any of you guys are here for anything besides the gear, you know, who wants to join me? Does anybody want to start a little photography challenge? Uh, if so, let me know in the comments section. I'll definitely find a way to reach out to you and we can maybe start a little group somewhere and, and talk about these things. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. Have a great 4th of July. I'll see you guys in an upcoming video very soon.